everyone, Cherie here. Today I'm going to be creating a spread for my Life Crafted album featuring the June 2020 Cravings Kit from Citrus Twist Kits. So there's lots of purples and pinks in this kit and I must admit I haven't really used a lot of purple in my projects in the past but I'm looking forward to doing it today with all these beautiful things. So I have already printed my uh, journaling out onto one of the journaling cards which I was going to use today however it did mess up at the very top there so what I'm planning on doing is cutting these flowers out and then adding them on top of this journaling card. So I just reprinted the journaling without the flowers and I'm just going to add those flowers over the top and that's going to create a little bit of dimension there as well. So that's going to add a little bit of interest to the journaling card. So that's what I've got planned for that one. I've also chosen this Happy Thoughts journaling card so I might add something underneath there. I'm going with this paper from the kit. It's got a little bit of uh, splatter marks at the top there as part of that pattern. So I'm going to cut that down to size to fit inside the full page, page protector there. And I've got one photo to use. I'm thinking I'll use the die cut frame. So I will trim this photo down a little bit. This is about my Mother's Day breakfast earlier this year, so I thought I'd document that. I've got lots of other things here to use from the kit. So there's the chipboard pieces, some of these word stickers. I've got the other puppy stickers as well and some stamps. I do have the alpha stickers here too, which I absolutely love, but I'm not sure if they'll make it onto this spread. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, I've got other die cuts with the flowers and the cravings title there. So we'll see how that goes. I still haven't decided if I want to use this or create my own title using these puffy stickers. So I'll pop you on fast forward and show you how I'm going to put this one together. So to start off with I'm going to add that uh, die cut frame over the top of the photo which I have trimmed down and you can also see I've trimmed down that 6x8 paper so that it'll fit inside the full-sized page protector. So I'm going to add the photo to that first page and then I'm going to add a word phrase sticker to the bottom of that Happy Thoughts card. And then I'm going to grab my sewing machine. I'm going to add some stitching to each of those three pieces. So I'll add a border around the edge and also across that word phrase sticker and also across the bottom of the frame. So I'm adding the date to the bottom of the journaling there. And you can see that I have cut out those flowers from that journaling card and I'm going to add that to the bottom of that journaling card with some foam squares and that really adds some nice dimension to this card. Just makes it look a little bit more interesting. Alright, so for the Happy Thoughts card, all that needed was that little heart at the top there and those two cards are now complete. So moving on to finishing off this first page and I've got that really pretty die cut piece there that I'm just adding to the bottom right of the photo with some foam squares and I have decided to use the craving word down the left hand side of that die cut frame. So instead of sticking these straight onto the page I'm going to use some uh, foam dots in, beh in behind this one just to add some more dimension. So I'll add dots behind each of those letters and stick them all into place. Okay, so that is now done. I'm going to add uh, a yellow label just behind the top edge of the frame. That's from the Cut Apart label sheet. And I do adjust that again a little bit later on, adds a stamped phrase to it, but you will see me do that very soon. So I do want to use this stamp that says just what I needed. So I'll do a little test stamp onto scrap first, and then I can go directly onto the page. So I have left a little bit of gap there between the photo and that stamp. I've got another one of these word phrase stickers to add underneath and I love that it's adding a little bit more colour at the bottom of the page there. So just looking at what else I can add. And this stamp here says get in my belly which I thought was quite appropriate for this spread. So I'm going to stamp that onto some scrap white cardstock. I'll cut that one out and then decide where I'm going to add that to the page. And this is where I've just moved that label up a little bit 
to make room so that I can add that phrase to the label. So I just needed one more thing at the bottom of the page there. So I decided to add this puffy sticker phrase just above where I'd added that stamp. So just making sure it's nice and evenly placed in that little gap there. And now I'm just going to add a little bit of stitching across that um, label at the top and across that word sticker phrase at the bottom there. So you can see all the little details, the stitching, that stamped area there. And I'll give you a closer look at those other two cards as well. Nice and simple. Just by adding that stitching really adds some nice texture. And I love the dimension that these flowers add to the journaling card. So let me know if you've got any questions. I hope you've enjoyed seeing how I put this one together today. I'll leave a link down below to Citrus Twist Kits. And I'll see you again very soon with another project. Thanks for joining me today. Bye for now. 